Arguing with Idiots, How to Stop Small Minds and Big Government, by Glenn Beck is a provocative and thought-provoking exploration of the intersection between politics, rhetoric, and the challenges faced by those seeking to engage in meaningful debates in today's polarized society. Beck's central premise is that many of our political debates are marred by misinformation, emotional arguments, and a lack of critical thinking. He contends that these issues are not limited to any one side of the political spectrum but are prevalent across the board. Throughout the book, Beck presents a series of idiot arguments, which are exaggerated and simplified versions of common political positions. He then proceeds to dissect and deconstruct these arguments, offering readers a toolkit to engage in more productive discussions. One of the book's strengths is Beck's engaging writing style. He combines humor, wit, and a conversational tone to make complex political issues accessible to a broad audience. He also draws on his experience as a political commentator and radio host to deliver his arguments effectively. This approach helps readers navigate through challenging topics with relative ease. Beck's book is divided into chapters, each focusing on a specific issue or political topic. Within these chapters, he takes on different idiots, representing various political stances. For instance, he discusses the green idiot to tackle environmental issues, the healthcare idiot to address healthcare reform, and the gun idiot for discussions on gun control. This structure allows Beck to cover a wide range of topics, ensuring that readers are exposed to diverse political viewpoints. However, some readers may find Beck's use of the term idiot in the book's title and throughout the text to be off-putting. While his intention is to highlight the flawed arguments often encountered in political discourse, the language may alienate potential readers who do not appreciate such direct terminology. Throughout the book, Beck encourages readers to think critically and question the information presented to them. He emphasizes the importance of fact-checking, independent research, and understanding the nuances of complex issues. This is a valuable message in an era when misinformation and fake news are rampant, and it empowers readers to become more discerning consumers of information. Beck also provides useful tips for engaging in productive conversations with people who hold opposing viewpoints. He advises readers to focus on finding common ground, listening actively, and avoiding personal attacks. These strategies can be valuable tools for anyone looking to bridge political divides and foster constructive dialogue. While the book is accessible and engaging, it is not without its shortcomings. Beck's approach can sometimes oversimplify complex issues to fit the idiot framework, which may leave readers wanting a more in-depth exploration of certain topics. Additionally, some critics argue that Beck's own political biases occasionally shine through, despite his claim to address both sides of the political spectrum. This may make it challenging for readers with differing perspectives to fully embrace his arguments. Arguing with idiots is an excellent starting point for readers interested in improving their political discourse skills and gaining a better understanding of contemporary political issues. Beck's writing style is engaging, and his practical advice is valuable in an era of heated political debates. However, readers should approach the book with a critical eye and be aware of the author's own biases. Overall, the book serves as a call to action for individuals to elevate the quality of political discourse and engage in more informed and respectful discussions.